Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, I was talking about D-Star to some of the other hams and uh, one of the problems some people run into with D-Star, uh, not regarding the price of some of the radios, uh, is that they're a little bit too far to actually uh, hit a D-Star enabled repeater. So, you know, they kind of, they might have gone out there and bought a little handy talkie. They can't reach it. They might have even bought a uh, mobile radio running 40 or 50 watts, have an outside antenna, and cannot reach any uh, D-Star repeaters. That's my situation right here. I'm a, just a little too far to uh, reach uh, any of the D-Star enabled repeaters in Dallas. Now, I understand that uh, the L3 Club and Radio Club in Greenville, Texas is going to put up a D-Star repeater. And once they do, then I will easily be able to hit that one. But right now, I don't have any choice. Uh, when I'm in my car, I have a, an ICOM 880H in the car, which is a D-Star uh, mobile. Uh, and once I drive, gosh, less than six or seven miles from my house, I can hit the uh, Dallas D-Star repeaters several of them very easily from my car, from my mobile rig in my car. It's just uh, something in those last six or seven miles is keeping the signal away from me. So what did I do? Well, what did I do? Well, I ran out there, because I do like D-Star. There's a lot of activity on it. And uh, there's some international D-Star nets and all kinds of things going on. Uh, go to a couple of websites on the internet, kind of give you an idea of who's on it and what's going on. I'll post those links down in the bottom of the video. But this little device that you see is a complete D-Star radio without the microphone without the microphone, okay? So you you got to either have a headset uh, with a mic, you know, or a standalone mic like I use. I just went out there and bought a uh, USB type uh, microphone. And when I'm on D-Star, I'll plug this in and this will be the mic that I'm using. Okay, and uh, what was it? Let me put my glasses on. I can't remember the brand or anything, but it's a uh, it's a Audio Technica, and it's their AT2020 USB. Now, whether they're still making this, I've had this for several years. I don't know if they have a 2030 or 2040 now. This is the 2020. Uh, it seems to work fine. It's got good audio, and I usually get pretty good reports uh, on D-Star using this mic. So let's just put that away for a minute, because I'm going to demonstrate the software to you today. Okay, we're going to plug this in to the USB port, and I'm going to open up the software that runs it, <clears throat> that's on the computer, called DV tool, DV, Delta Victor tool, T-O-O-L. And uh, again, I'll put a link to that down on the bottom so uh, you can easily reach the site where the software is and where this is being sold. Now, I bought this one used off of my favorite site, uh, QTH.com, uh, several years ago and probably saved me almost a hundred dollars by buying it used. Uh, works just fine and has worked fine since I bought it. So let's plug it in 
and all you do is plug it into a USB port and you get that little you get that little sound and I don't know if you can see the green light here maybe you can see it I don't know right there that tells me it's connected so we are connected so let me kind of switch you over to the uh, computer screen I'm gonna bring up the software and then we're gonna Try to listen in to some people talking on V-Star. So <clears throat> let's go in here and uh, go find the uh, DB Tool software, which is right here, right there. And as you can see, it opened right up. And it's got a couple of screens. This back one here just kind of tells you what's going on all the time. Network-wise, I kind of tend to ignore it or just send it to the bottom of the screen, get it out of my way like that. I don't close it because it'll close software. I just send it and minimize it. So anyway, you can see I've already set up my call sign and my city in here and my name. Uh, this is actually what's going to come across uh, either a D-Star radio or the, if somebody is on a computer using a DB dongle, which is that blue thing I showed you, uh, they're going to see this scroll across the screen, okay? And they'll see my call sign. <clears throat> so as you can see, it's already determined it's COM3. But we got to open that COM port first. So let's open that COM port. And we are now connected uh, to the computer fully. But we haven't connected to a repeater or a gateway somewhere. Or a reflector. Now, what I really like about this software, and if you're familiar with D-Star, you know that to connect to a reflector, you have to enter some special codes uh, into your radio that uh, force the repeater that you're talking to to connect to a reflector. Now, Reflector is just a network node with a great internet connection, okay? There are a bunch of different reflectors on the D-Star network, and uh, we're going to connect to some from here. And it's really just point and click. Point and click, that's all it is. So. Uh, let's, I guess the best place would be, let's start with, with, with Reflector 1. Uh, it's a very popular node, and people talk on it from all over the world, so we're going to connect to that. And we are now connected. I'm going to take you over here and kind of show you this while we're just sitting here listening. You notice it's got a little asterisk there. Another unique feature of the DB dongle, it can listen to channel A, channel B, channel C, all at the same time if you select the asterisk. Now you cannot transmit yet, but you can listen to all three uh channels at the same time. So if we kind of click this arrow, you can see all these other uh, selections. The E is an echo function. Uh, <coughs> D is something else I don't even remember. But normally B and C and A are the ones people will be talking on. But if you select this asterisk like I did, then you'll be able to hear all three channels if somebody is talking on them, okay? So that's kind of a neat deal with um, the DB dongle. Now, if we come up here and select the channel, let's say 
module C. All right, then you notice the push to talk kind of uh, got ready to go. So if I was going to talk, I would just push this button. Or I could use the space key on, uh, on my computer, the space bar, and do the same thing. And that is the push to talk. So uh, <clears throat> nobody on reflector one right now. Let's disconnect. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to jump around here. Here's the Dallas K5 TIT V Star repeater. Let's click that and just say connect. And I am now connected to module C of the Dallas D Star repeater. And if I come down here and get this asterisk again. Uh, I'm listening on all the modules right now. So that's what's kind of neat about this is you can just simply disconnect, select another repeater. Here's the Dallas Amateur Radio Club B-Star repeater. Again, I'm going to connect to that. I just did. All right. And I'm got an asterisk, so I'm listening to all three modules. Remember, I can't talk yet. The push to talk is disabled when you have an asterisk here, but as soon as you select the real module, then it becomes active, and you can use it. So really a neat system for uh, D-Star activities. Okay, here we go, jumping over to Reflector 4. And I'm now on Reflector 4, Module B. All right, Module B. Again, I can listen to all the modules. Let me uh, kind of di disconnect everything. We'll close that. We'll close the COM port. <clears throat> so we're totally disconnected now. And uh, I'll get you back over here on my smiling face right here. So, <clears throat> that'll give you a pretty good idea of this little device right here, the DV Dongle. DV Dongle. You can go to QTH.com, go on the classifieds, and see, just type in DV Dongle. DV dongle. Okay, letter D, letter V, dongle. D O N G L E. All right? And uh, see if there's any of these for sale used. From time to time, they show up there. But you can still buy them new, uh, and I'll give you those websites. So, neat way to get on D Star. It is cheaper than uh, going out there and buying a D-Star radio. I'm going to tell you that right now. Then. If you've got a mic already built into your computer, um, you can use that. You won't sound spectacular, but it'll work just fine. Uh, and if you have a gaming uh, headset, you know, those little gaming headsets with the little mic, uh, you can use one of those USB type mics, and those work really well. Anyway, with that said, I wish you clear skies in 73, and keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Y'all be good. See y'all later. Subscribe. More videos to come.